How'd you lose your eye? It was in the war. The Lone Jack. Little scrap outside of Kansas City. What'd you do after the war? I robbed me a federal paymaster and went to Cairo, Illinois, and bought a eating place there called the Green Frog, married a grass widow. Place had a billiard table. You never told me you had a wife. Oh, well, I didn't have her long. My friends was a pack of river rats, and she didn't crave their society, so she up and left me and went back to her first husband, who was clerking in a hardware store in Paducah. Goodbye, Reuben, she says. The love of decency does not abide in you. That's a divorced woman talking for you about decency. Well, I told her, I said, goodbye, Nola, and I hope that nail-selling bastard makes you happy this time. Did you have any children? Hmm. There was a boy, Nola taking him with her. He never liked me anyway. A clumsier child you will never see than Horace. I bet he broke 40 cups. Never did get you for stealing that money. Well, I didn't consider it stealing. Didn't belong to you. I needed a road stake. It was like that little high interest bank in New Mexico. Needed a road stake, and there it was. I never robbed no citizen taking a man's watch. It's all stealing. That's the position them New Mexicans took. I had to flee for my life. Bo was a young colt then. No horse could run him into the ground. When that posse thinned out, uh, I turned old Bo around and taking them reins in my teeth, I charged them boys firing two <laughs> Navy sixes. <laughs> they must have all been married men that loved their families because they scattered and run for home. 